Hello you guys, it's Elsie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my top spring perfumes. So I have a lot, so let's just get started. But first subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, follow me on Instagram. And let's start with the video already. So my top number one for this specific spring, this is Daisy Marc Jacobs and it's the intense version. So this one's new, so that's why I wanted to try her this specific spring. This one it's a very creamy floral scent, but it has a lot of the honey in it. I used to own the original Daisy. In fact, this is like a lot better than the original. That it has like a lot more, like a kick to it because of the honey. And it's one of my most complimented perfumes actually. So next I have the original Ari perfume. This one, it is so, so yummy. It's like very sweet like candy and very fruity but it has like a lot more of this perfumey touch to it than sweet like candy which i also have for this specific spring this one it's in my project setup actually this one's very sweet and fruity as well they're kind of similar but i feel like i prefer the original ari a lot more it's a lot more perfumey in a way so that's why i rather keep the original ari then i have my moon paris ysl perfume this is one of my faves as well it smells so so good it's like berries and it's so so good it reminds me of like berries and a drink to go out like having go out and having drinks that's what it reminds me of this next one it's actually new this is tiffany and co the perfume and I haven't really tested this out. I'm really not. so, so good. I haven't really tested this one out and I'm literally shocked. I'm literally shocked. It smells so expensive. Then I have my Burberry blush, which is this one. This one smells so pretty. It smells so fruity. I think it has some type of like strawberry or berry note in it. And it is so yummy. So we're going to like a berries and a cupcake and like going out on a brunch. So this next one, it's definitely an OG. This is a Versace Bright Crystal. I'm almost done with it. This one's like an old bottle for sure. I don't love the bottle, but I love how it smells like. It smells so strong and super long lasting. It's like definitely like a compliment getter for sure. And it's so like refreshing but sweet at the same time next i have miss your blooming kids and this one it's very expensive smelling as well oh my god i cannot even open it there you go oh, so good it's like a bouquet of flowers but it's definitely like out of the shower going with your friends going to the mall something like very refreshing you smell like flowers and it's just so girly and womanly and beautiful and dainty it is so so pretty definitely for something like a spring perfume for sure then i have a vera wonk princess which is this one this one actually smells so so good like it smells like flowers but it's so perfumey at the same time and it is so inexpensive you can get it anywhere ross walmart it is so like dainty and super super girly definitely like a girly girl for sure. Then I have Arena Grande, thank you next. And this is how it looks. This one reminds me of like a macaroon. Yeah, it's so so sweet like a macaroon. I know a lot of people say it smells like pickles, so I don't get that. Then I have Chan Chanel El Tendre, which is this one. It's like so simple. It smells like flowers, like floral and fruity at the same time. And it's so like clean smelling out of the shower as well, like super denty and simple. But you get a lot of compliments with this. Like it's definitely just so like clean smelling and so beautiful. This one, I was wearing this one, trying this one a little bit during the winter. And I wanted to pass it along for the spring as well. This is Beyond Romance. And look how like just a little bit so sweet. Almost like cake in my opinion. It is very, very, very sweet. I feel like it works for early like winter slash early spring because it is so chilly outside during the spring weather of like it works wonders because of how sweet like cake it is but it has like almost like berry cake you know like it reminds me of that this is probably my second favorite perfume from all time from Victoria's Secret this is just a kiss which is this one definitely smells like new makeup 
new lipstick it is so so good super floral super like sweet and perfumey and elegant it is so so good and i have valentino perfume this one it's super strong super long lasting it smells so expensive like this is something i will take totally to europe to go over there like it gives me those vibes and it's so perfumey and expensive smelling like i cannot really get like a note for out of this in fact those are like my favorite type of perfumes because it's just like a blend of notes so this next one it's actually super expensive i've written you one this is bloom beyond this one smells like peaches and i don't like like the scent note of peaches but this one it's like a whole another level like this is like the exception for that role it smells so beautiful like it's so creamy sweet and fruity and ugh, this one's so so good and it's only like 15 or 20 bucks i written one i think it comes out every spring because it's definitely like spring in a bottle next one it's burberry her this one i was wearing her during the winter time but it's definitely one of those that's like late winter slash early spring because of how sweet it is kind of like beyond romance like this one that i just show you and it's it reminds me of like strawberry cake you can definitely combine it with strawberry punky from bath and body works it is that that sweet and it's so yummy then i have chloe nomad which is this one this one same thing i was using her on like the winter time this one smells so freaking expensive i recently went to a golf tournament and i was spelling like this it's so freaking expensive smelling at first i didn't love her much but i'm definitely obsessed with it it's so like it makes me think that i'm rich you know it's almost like a rich bitch at a golf tournament <laughs> for sure and yeah, I was feeling those vibes, definitely. It smells like some sort of like berry note in it, but it's not like overly sweet. It's mostly like very perfumey, like berries and florals and just very perfumey. Very expensive smelling for sure. Then I have Bombshell Celebration. I forgot what the name, but this is Bombshell Celebration. And this one smells like a rosé it has like a winter feeling to it but i feel like you can bring it all the way to springtime as well so this one i actually just bought it i was going to include um my favorite perfume from all time which is chanel mademoiselle i feel like this one reminds me so much of that one this oscar de la renta de la rosa and this one i feel like it smells like rose but also kind of like the pink pepper that Chanel Monmasue has to me they're very similar and I love the bottle it is beautiful so next I have tea sugar flour I've been using this one a lot actually this one's like it reminds me like a bubble gum or cotton candy I've been using this one a lot my finisher this specific spring we'll see then I have a rose hardcore from Victoria's Secret I've been craving like a rose type of like perfume and i was between this one or oh my god what's the name of this si passione i know that one has rose and that one's like compliment getter for sure like my mom wears that one all the time and she receives multiple compliments multiple so i don't have that one because that one's like kind of like my mom type of perfume but i do have this one that also smells like roses like sweet roses and i've been craving something like this like out of the shower and just smells like roses you know i've been craving that for sure all right you guys so that's pretty much it for my top spring perfumes i really hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to like this video to comment down below let me know your spring perfumes definitely let me know like any recommendations down below also follow me on instagram and i hope to see you in my next video bye